Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today I have a post review for you. A post review is basically kind of a wrap up after a project that I do. Now this one in particular is very special because this is a comparison video that I promised you two months ago, I think. Now I thought that I would have had this done a lot quicker, but I have other projects in the work that are kind of taking a little bit of priority over these, but now they're finally done. <laughs> If you're new here to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you like diamond painting videos, have a look. I've got loads of playlists available as well, a little bit for everybody, you know, um, and I do different crafts as well. I'm going to get into that this winter more. So anyway, that's just to, uh, to let you know, in case you're not already here, you've just stumbled across this video. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> now, um, here is the original picture. I'm going to throw it up on the screen for you and leave it there for a few seconds. I want you to really cement this into your brain while I flip over these paintings in the background because I want you to make an honest judgment yourself based on the picture, which one you think came out better. Ready? Three, two, one. Can you tell which is which? I'm sure you can, uh, but just in case you didn't know, the one on the left is square, the one on the right is round. Now, the round one didn't take me very long at all. I think it took me three full sessions over three different days, which would have been about two hours each, so six hours maybe. Um, there's a lot of confetti in both of these paintings. Um, this one took a lot longer, but squares normally do because they're smaller, there's more you know, surface area, more work goes into these than these. But in general, um, we'll, get, we'll get into it. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to talk about positives first because I want to get into the comparison, which is better or maybe not better, but which is better for you. Because um, what is best for me isn't necessarily best for everyone. It depends on what you're looking for. We're all looking for different things. No judgment. So positive about these diamond paintings. These come from the Ayuada store on AliExpress. I'll have a link here in the eye to show you the unboxing of these. In case you didn't see it, a lot of people did see it and they were kind of disappointed that I didn't do the post review straight away. I apologize, it takes a long time to actually do the diamond paintings, but here it is now. <clears throat> now, uh, both of these, diamond paintings have great sparkle. It's it's hard to show you in this light because it is dark. All right, now that I have artificial light on, there we go, you can kind of see that sparkle now. I think they both have great sparkle. And I'm gonna put my notes down. I did make notes because I want to make sure that I give it the, the best review possible. Yeah, it's, they're both super sparkly, obviously in different ways. If you're new to diamond painting, the square diamond paintings have more of a glassy effect and the round ones have a really shimmery effect. That has to do with the facets, how many facets they have. The rounds bounce more sparkle, whereas the round or the square doesn't necessarily. Okay, so for both of these paintings, the adhesive that they use is very very sticky um so sticky very very sticky i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it positive there for a second uh it is very confetti heavy but that just means that there's really good detail even though the size is small so this is the smallest size available on the listing which i will link in the description of this video 20 by 25 is the smallest that you can possibly get um, for this image. I do not recommend it, um, obviously. I'm, a, I'm the kind of person that believes that if you want detail in your diamond painting, you will have to go to a larger size. And so I don't really typically do small diamond paintings. You might have noticed that if you've been here for a while. Um, not saying that there's anything wrong with small diamond paintings. I know I'm back peddling here, but... Honestly, there's nothing wrong with a small diamond painting, but don't get a small one and then complain about lack of detail because it's kind of obvious that it won't. If, if you were doing cross stitching, it would be the same exact thing. So with that being said, 
I think that the detail is great considering the size of these paintings. You can clearly see there are two butterflies. The rose is quite beautiful. Even the background is all right. There's some detail in the leaves as well. Now, in my, in my opinion, it just looks like a splash of color, but that's okay too. You really have to get far away from these paintings for them to make sense, so we're going to do that later on. You're only about maybe two feet away, a meter and a half, maybe. No, not a meter and a half, <laughs> like a half, three quarters of a meter. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, more positives. Um, there are plenty of drills to complete the paintings, nor the... There's like tape on my table and stuff. So you can see some of the some of the colors have like a full bag left, like that one, and there was another one. That's nearly a full bag's worth. Here's a full bag, here's a full bag. Um, 820, that's pretty much a full bag as well. So no real issues. I'm looking for the one that has the least amount left, but even with the least amount, I mean, there were so few of these um, in the painting itself that I wasn't worried at all. So those are all the square drills that are left. The round drills, however, there were very few. If you can see that. Um, a little less than the square one. I wasn't sweating too hard, but I was a little concerned. But see, there are like full packets as well. But yeah, 720, I was a little bit worried. I do have 720 in my stash though, so if I couldn't complete the painting, I would have um, dug in. I think there's about 15 of them in there. So anyway, I had enough drills to complete the painting. Very good. Okay, so now that that's away, I'm going to move on to the negatives. What I think are negative, um, or we might possibly call this constructive criticism. So between the two paintings there are actually completely different color lots a lot of colors are are similar but they're not the same as each other so like for example you got 150 152 310 318 this is 150 310 311 318 for some reason the software that they use between square and round is it is different i'm sure you've noticed that in the past if you've ordered two different types from the same store that a lot of the time it's a different uh what's the word i'm looking for it's a different chart but i didn't realize that the different charts would mean that there would be different colors so unfortunately the round drill painting is not as vibrant as the square drill and I'm saying it because if we look in the same areas, I don't want to go into too much detail on this. I want to just illustrate. I think it's kind of crazy. So as you know, round drills are bigger than square. So as you can see, the, the area of where this leaf is, is the same size on both paintings, but there are more drills that fill that area on the square than in the round. But that also means that there's less depth and less shading in the round than in the square. If you can see it, I'm not 100% sure if this will come out in post or not, but in the square drill area here, there are three different colors of orange, brown, and yellow. Here there's two. It's just orange and yellow. There's no middle ground. And then if we look, see there's like a dark orange, a lighter orange, and then the yellow. This is just orange and yellow. Um, hmm. The, the pinks and purples, let's see if I can bring that down. I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining this. I don't know. I'm not an expert, I'm just an observer. So you can see here that the purples between these two petals are completely different. This one is like a lavender shade and this one is a, oh, I don't know. It's like, it's like this purple on my notebook. Okay. 
So it's, it's even hard to tell because of the sparkle in it. The sparkle is great. So there's this, there's supposed to be this purple and then there's a blue and then a pink. See the blue and the pink, but there's less blue here and less pink. So I think it, it, it drove me to this conclusion, okay? That if you want the same resolution between a square and a round, your round would have to be not twice as big, but it would certainly have to be much bigger than the square to get the same resolution. Because the round beads are much bigger than the square. Well, I say much bigger, but they're, they're significantly different. They take up a different size, so therefore the quality, the, the size of the area, there are, there are less diamonds per square inch on the round than the square. And I'm sure that if someone is great at math, they will leave that information down in the description. I've heard it from Heike before. Um, I've heard it from a few other people as well. Heike's Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's the major difference. The resolution is different. However, okay. Um, that that's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. Square takes longer, but you get better detail for the size. So if you get a smaller size diamond painting, you'll still get a good resolution. Whereas with a, a round, you would have to go larger to get the same picture as the square. I think I just repeated myself, but you, I hope you understand. Okay. The adhesive is not forgiving at all. You cannot push drills uh, along this unless you want to like remove a whole line if you if you try to push it's gonna go and then get rid of all the drills in front of it um, so you'd have to use tweezers or you'd have to use your drill pen to pop up the end it was it was a little bit of a pain especially with the round um, okay <laughs> the next big issue for me was that the round had dark circles So if you can see right in the middle of the screen there, you can see the dark circle behind it. If you're not 100% accurate on your placement, or if the other issue I'm about to talk about happens, then you are kind of um, left in the dark. But to be honest with you, I tried really, really hard to get them perfectly lined up. And I think I did a pretty good job considering that the drills pop on both of these paintings. So I'm going to show you right here. There's one popping up right now. The purple. Um, I've, I kept pushing them down because I finished this one first and I really wanted them to adhese. But sorry, now I'm just going to... Where is it? I'm going to point at it. You can't really see, but it's this this one yeah that one <laughs> they just they're the drills are too big the drills are too big for the drill area so they're really snug you can see that they are super super snug with each other um, and so they pop there were tabs on some of the round ones <sighs> The squares as well I mean this is so tight like the canvas is really tight because they are so so close to each other um, it does create a good effect as far as like you know being um, close to each other with no gapping but then you have issues like this here I hope I can show you that there is a bubble under there so you can see that this entire row where I'm pointing, that entire row is popping up. Okay, maybe you can't see it, but I, I definitely can. And there are areas like that where single drills are popping out. They're just not happy. There's another one right there. And yeah, and there's the orange one coming up right there. And um, yeah, so... <sighs> Uh, 
I just kind of gave up after a while. I was using a trick that I saw on, but there was, there was a video. I'm really sorry if it was you and I'm misremembering, but there was a video. Please let me know down in the comments if it's you, um, where the person clipped the, the tab off with the end of their drill pen, just pushed the drill pen down along the side of the drill and it popped off the little excess bit. Ooh, a butterfly just landed in my driveway. Hush you. You're fine. Okay. So anyway, distracted. So that was the major issue is that the drills are popping and it was, um, mildly upsetting. If this had been a bigger painting, um, I would have been really mad. <laughs> I probably would have contacted the seller and tried to get new drills, but because these are so small, I was assuming that they wouldn't take me seriously. And also they're just tester paintings. This is the point of the test is to, to see what the quality is. Um, so I don't know what their customer service is like. I don't know. They probably could have sent me drills. It's possible. They could be the kind of people who send out replacements if they are told about an issue. Again, I didn't try because it's just a test. So if you want to try them out for yourself or if you've had contact with the store before and you've ordered from them, finished a painting from them, let us know in the comments of this video what your experience was like. I would really like to know. Um, I think the other notes that I have here says square has more vibrant color. It's easier to see the image. It's tidy. From a distance, they look the same. If going much larger, I recommend the round. Um, I do recommend the round if you go larger because it's faster to complete. That is one thing. Um, round is much faster because you don't have to move your wrist around. I'm sure that if you're watching this, you've probably seen Stitcher Reese's video on why she stopped doing square diamond paintings. And I agree with her. I think that round is much faster. It's much more enjoyable. If you don't have a thing for the pop, you know, like some people prefer to have that popping sound when they place drills, it's therapeutic for them. They enjoy putting things into boxes. They like that very precise look. I think you get the same kind of look with round. You just have to go strong. You have to go larger. That's all. That's the difference. Okay. I think I've blabbered on enough. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is the drills for the square because I do get a lot of questions about this. The, no, there are a mixture of the flat backs and the dimples, but the flat backs still have a misshapen edge. I don't know if you can see that. I'm shaking a little because I had coffee. There is also some trash. Oh, by the way, I did not. Um, I did not do trash. I didn't even bother. Uh, with these paintings because they were both living room slash work projects. So I have no idea how much trash there is. It's still all in the bag. But I'll let you make the decision or the, you know, judgment for yourself on these. Um, it's not necessarily the dimples that that indicate bad drills. As you can see, that drill is perfect. It's the size of them. If they're irregularly shaped, if there's something wrong with the mold, then yeah, it will translate into the drills not fitting properly. See the tab there and there and see the edge there. Now, um, honestly, I think this could have been solved by the manufacturer increasing the size of the canvas, the little grid on the canvas, even if it was by like a tenth of a millimeter or something like that, that would have made a huge difference. So as you can see again, um, the flat backs are not necessarily exempt from issues either. See that one there, those little hangers on, or I think, um, Rose calls them hanging chads. They can easily be popped off with the end of a drill pen. Sorry about the dog hair. Yeah, I have a dog, but none of the colors see that. Ugh. 
None of the colors were exempt from drill issues. So that is what IOTA is working with as far as squares go. And then their rounds. It's hard to see the colors. So, okay, see how there are there are also little tabs on the round. These also have dimples in the bottom, but some of them are flat too. So I don't know. I think they just mixed them all up in a tab or in a tub, excuse me. Tab is on the brain. So there you go. There's a little piece of excess. I don't know if anybody can see that. There's a little piece where it was supposed to be hanging on to the little mold. There's a hitchhiker and more dog hair. That's on the outside, okay. Yeah, so, oh, the 550s were pretty bad in this painting as well. I don't know what it is about dark drills, but for whatever reason, they seem to suffer the most. So yeah, that is the drills. Okay, guys, so that is my uh, post review for the Iowa, da, oh, I, Iowa, Iowa store on AliExpress. Um, not 100% sure I will be trying them again after this. There are so many stores on AliExpress that have great quality, and so I would recommend checking out stores like Evermoment, Cuff W Key, Sophie Beauty, Moon Crescent. There are so many. If you need a list of stores that I recommend, I will leave them in the in the description, especially AliExpress stores. I know it can be difficult to make up your mind, um, but that's why I create these post reviews to inform people once the once the, the painting is finished, because unboxing a painting, your first impressions, they could be hit or miss. You could think that it's going to be crap and then it turns out good, you know? So that's why I think it's really important. So I do really recommend that if you are shopping for the first time or shopping again for a diamond painting from a store, especially on AliExpress, please check out the post reviews or I'm not sure what other people call them, um, completed diamond paintings. Just do a search on YouTube for that. Or if you'd like, I will put a little card at the end of this video so that you can check out my playlist of all of the diamond paintings that I've completed on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope this has been informative and somehow helpful to you. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.